Hey, welcome back to another security video for our jokes database. In this video, as I promised in the previous, we're going to improve the security of the add joke um, script. So it's a very short script here, and we want to make this more secure. As you can see, we are running a SQL query directly into the database, and that is open to problems. So instead of using a, a regular insert, we're going to use a prepared statement. So as we did in the previous examples, we're going to start with a statement object and it will be a result of a prepare. So I will copy and paste the uh, original SQL statement inside of the parentheses. Next, I will replace all the variable names that are in the SQL statement and put question marks in their place. The statement that follows prepare must be a bind param. And so I want to bind the parameters that belong to the question mark. So the three question marks are going to be associated with the original three variables, which were new joke question, new joke answer, and user ID. So let's see what kind of things these are. So joke question was a string. So we'll put an S in the first parameter. The joke answer is also a string. The user's ID is an integer. So we will change this to an SS I for our first um, parameter. Next we will do the execute and uh, we can stop here because there's really nothing that we need to get back from the database other than just an insert command. And so we can do the uh, execute followed by a close statement. Then the following two lines can be deleted because they were left over from the previous work. So this should work. Let's test it out. So let's try to insert a new joke here. So let's put in the uh, how does NASA plan a party? And the answer is uh, they plan it. Okay, <laughs> there you go. I got to spell it right. Plan it. And let's try okay. All right, so then we got a joke at the bottom. It says how does NASA plan a party submitted by user number one? All right, so that seems to work. Uh, if yours didn't work, I, I did find in my login process there was an issue. So if, if you made a mistake here, so like I did, I forgot to uh, delete this row here, 37, which was reassigning the user ID. So uh, I just took that out, had to re-log in, and then things were better. So just check that in case, in case you made the mistake I did.